Don't go anywhere. You clicked on the right video. We're on site in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we're going to cover the 12 profit maximizing hacks when owning, operating, and investing in, yes, you guessed it, Myrtle Beach oceanfront condos. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because you can enjoy and increase the passive income of your oceanfront condo through the 20 to 22 million tourists that visit the number two vacation destination on the East Coast each year. Not only can you enjoy the equity paid for by visiting tourists, but you can also anticipate the over 100% appreciation experience at many of the oceanfront resorts in our market during the recent decade. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because you can depreciate them, reducing your overall tax burden, keeping more money for you and your loved ones, and ensuring unnecessary taxes aren't paid. Maximizing profits from your Myrtle Beach oceanfront condo is going to require strategic planning and smart execution. With its stunning beaches and tourist activity, Myrtle Beach offers a very attractive vacation rental market. We have between 20 and 22 million tourists that visit our market each year. However, in order to truly capitalize on this opportunity, investors must employ a range of profit boosting techniques. Here are your 12 profit maximizing oceanfront condo hacks. All right, so we're gonna knock these out real fast and in a hurry. Number one is leveraging seasonal pricing. You've gotta leverage seasonal pricing. Our peak season is April through September. That's basically spring break through September. That's when we're, you're gonna get probably 70% of the income that you're gonna bring in for your unit during that time. Now. The highest peak months are going to be June, July, and August. Those are going to be your best times of year that you can charge the most, which leads me into dynamic pricing. Now, you're going to use dynamic pricing tools to adjust rental rates based on demand, season, and local events. Obviously, for example, the Country Music Festival. The Caribbean Resort is right up the road, just blocks away from where they host the Country music festival. Now this festival draws some of the top names in country music. Obviously that weekend, the Caribbean Resort is sold out most likely. The people have jacked the rates up on their units in order to maximize the price. That's dynamic pricing. Now there is some software I want to tell you about. It's called Price Labs. You want to check into that. That is a little hint there to get you started on dynamic pricing. Peak season rates, which we've already covered guys, basically you're, you're going to charge higher rates during your peak season tourist season again that's april through september and the holidays to maximize your income that's how you leverage seasonal pricing stay tuned because in the rest of the video guys this there's going to be a lot of controversy over this one i can hear some of my clients now his strategy entirely is keeping his prices super high so that last minute uh, bookers they have to pay a premium to get his unit and it's worked very very well for him. i mean again that client to the tune of sixty three thousand dollars in gross rental income in his just his first year of you know running his own airbnb ocean view condo number two you're going to enhance your property appeal now this i cannot overstate enough if you've seen our other video on the ocean reef unit number 1126 it is a superb in my opinion top 5% Airbnb rental property. You need to watch that video. I might drop it in this video at the end. Anyways, you need to enhance your property appeal. There are lots of things that you can do to, to do this. I'm gonna just cover two things real quick. High quality photos. You're gonna invest in professional photography for your listings in order to showcase your condo's best features. Things like a built-in coffee station, you know, a colored theme throughout your unit, uh, a telescope by the balcony in order to watch the stars with their son or, or drink wine and watch the stars with their wife, uh, massive balcony space. Anyways, all of this can, can be covered 
with high quality photos that are going to be in your Airbnb listing. Super, super huge. And then modern amenities. This is super simple, guys. You're going to upgrade your amenities such as high speed internet. You're going to use smart TVs and you're also going to have modern appliances that your guests are going to enjoy. The nicer the unit is, the more you're going to be able to charge for it, the better people's experience most likely is going to be at your oceanfront condo. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, I am opposed to hiring a property manager. They generally, you know, require of you anywhere between 20 and as much as 60%. I think the lowest I've 20 and 60% on oceanfront condos, which eats in and takes all of your profit out of the deal. So I'm completely opposed. I mean, you're gonna pay 3% on Airbnb versus giving someone all of that money. Now, number three is you want to optimize your online presence. If you're gonna be on any platform at all, you definitely need to be on Airbnb, but you do need to be on multiple platforms. I have a, a client of mine, he's over at the Sand Dunes or Resort he has a three bedroom, two bathroom unit. His first year out the gate, owning his own ocean view condo, he pulled in $63,000 in gross rental income. He only used Airbnb. That is the main platform in my experience that you need to be using. But in order to maximize visibility and exposure, you wanna get on other platforms like booking.com, VRBO, Airbnb. You wanna be on as many as possible. Now you also want to do SEO optimization. You want to use relevant keywords in your listing title and your description to improve searchability. These are two very important components of optimizing your online presence, which is number three. Now I will throw out there that you can also do a blog. You can do YouTube videos, which would be great when YouTube ads. Um, and then of course there's always Facebook and Facebook ads. I would tell you to start in, an annual Facebook ad, several of them that, that, that just run all year long advertising your property. You can have the best oceanfront condo in the world, but if you're not getting the exposure and the visibility that you need, you are not optimizing your online presence. Number four is an exceptional guest experience. Guys, I know this might seem simple, but it does go a long way in having repeat business year after year. Personal touches, you know, you wanna provide welcome baskets, local guidebooks and personalized recommendations to enhance the guest experience. You also want to have really responsive communication. One of my other clients, um, she shared with me some of her text messages that she set up automated through the Airbnb platform. You know, at various points after someone books the unit, they will get these automatic text messages and instructions. This makes communication simple and easy on your part but it does go a long way in, you know, in establishing a relationship with the guests that are using your unit and helping them feel more secure about investing top dollar for their vacation in your unit. So you want to make sure you're very responsive to them when they reach out to you on the platform, on email, on text message, even a phone call, however it is, guys, make sure you're extremely responsive to your guests because you want them to have an exceptional guest experience. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because this is the fastest growing area out of the 150 most populated areas in the entire United States for the last three years in a row, according to US News and World Report. This helps to insulate our market from many of the ups and downs that the rest of our nation's real estate market experiences. This can help you have a more stable rental property. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because they have a tremendous upside when compared to money market accounts and the stock market due to the appreciation they earn and the potential of higher annual yields through their gross rental income when compared to these other investments. Money market accounts and the stock market don't have the upside of added appreciation. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because while our prices have risen and have held their value, we're also much cheaper than other places like Florida. Where else can you go and find an oceanfront condo for as little as $100,000? If you're getting into the real estate game or expanding your current portfolio, the bang for your buck is sitting right on the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina oceanfront. Number five is gonna be efficient property management. This is gonna be huge, guys. 
Now, there are certain software that you can use to do your property management. A lot of that is included in Airbnb in the platform so you might not have to go any further than the actual platforms that you're using to boost these. However, you can take a deeper dive into you know, the various property management softwares that, that you might be interested in using. Now, the other alternative is gonna be to hire a property manager. I am opposed to hiring a property manager. They generally you know, require of you anywhere between 20 and as much as 60%. I think the lowest of 20 and 60% on oceanfront condos, which eats in and takes all of your profit out of the deal. It essentially, in my opinion, is not worth it. Much of the work that you're gonna be doing through property management can be leveraged through technology, just like we discussed with you know the, the self-management tools. And uh, so I'm completely opposed. I mean, you're gonna pay 3% on Airbnb versus giving someone all of that money. You know, I've got local teams here on the ground, contractors and resources that I can connect you with so that, you know, basically you can plug into my network and you don't really need to rely on a property manager, in my opinion. I, I'm all for self-management, as you can see. At the end of the day, that profit needs to be back in your account and not someone else's. All right, guys, so number six is gonna be regular maintenance and upgrades. Now, you obviously want to do as much preventative maintenance as possible. You need to schedule regular maintenance, you know, checks to keep the property up to date and in top condition to avoid any kind of costly issues. You know, you want to make sure that your HVAC system is serviced and maybe you have a handyman or inspector walk through every once in a while just to check things out, make sure it's good. Now, you can, uh, you can obviously purchase a, a home warranty, which I am a big advocate for. You know, America's Preferred is a phenomenal company that I recommend to all of my clients. And basically, you know, you can keep a lot of that stuff uh, maintained well through your home warranty. If anything goes wrong or there's issues, you can call in and use your home warranty. They'll send a handyman a person out to, to check into it and get it taken care of for you. Now, you also can do property upgrades. You know, it, it's I think it's an excellent idea to upgrade your appliances and your furnishings, your decor, you know, every now and then. I'm not saying do it to the point where you're, you know, it's costing you profit. But I am saying, you know, keeping things fresh does help it look very, very attractive to new renters as well as to repeat customers. So those are just two simple tips that will help you, number six, with regular maintenance and upgrades. All right, number seven is going to be offer flexible booking options. Guys, This there's going to be a lot of controversy over this one. I can hear some of my clients now. Um, you can do short stays that allow for shorter minimum stays to attract more guests, especially during off-peak times, which could be very advantageous for you. I do have a, a client who his strategy entirely is keeping his prices super high so that last minute uh, bookers have to pay a premium to get his unit. And it's worked very, very well for him. I mean, again, that client to the tune of $63,000 in gross rental income in his, just his first year of you know, running his own Airbnb Ocean View condo. Now, another thing that you could do is long-term discounts. You wanna offer discounts for long-term bookings to secure steady income during slower periods. Again, our peak season is April through September, so that might be a strategy that you would employ October, November, December, January, February, March, before you come into the peak season. Now, number eight is gonna be, you're, you're gonna to wanna to maximize those tax benefits. A huge tax benefit is depreciation deductions which is something I cover heavily on our channel. You can take advantage of a depreciation deductions to reduce your taxable income. Absolutely huge. You're making money, but you're not paying taxes on all the money you're making. Come on. So you can also hire a tax professional, which I'm a huge advocate for. You definitely want to have a CPA in your corner. You want to work with a tax professional to ensure that you're maximizing all available tax benefits and deductions. Now, number nine is gonna be engaging in strategic marketing. I can't say it enough, exposure, exposure, exposure. You want visibility. Now, social, social media is an excellent out, outlet for you to promote your condo on like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Don't sleep on Pinterest, guys, people do. Don't sleep on social media, it works. Get on YouTube, get it out there, run ads. And then email marketing. You know, you want to build an email list of past guests 
and send regular updates and special offers to that list. Another thing that you could do is create a, a Facebook group where all your past guests get invited and you can easily send out announcements that way. So don't sleep on social media. You definitely want to get strategic with your marketing. Now, number 10 is going to be utilizing local events and attractions. I really, really like this one. I think it's super smart. Event packages, guys. You want, you want to create special packages for local events, festivals, and holidays. It's, you know, hop on ChatGPT and ask it how many local events and festivals we have here in Myrtle Beach. The Myrtle Beach Marathon, there's, there's all kinds of them. The Myrtle Beach Marathon, there's two different bike weeks, the Country Music Festival. Those are just a few that come to my mind off the top of my head, and that is not even scratching the surface, guys. So again, the old special packages offer special discounts or incentives or even vacation packages and run ads on Facebook. It's too simple, too easy, guys. Local partnerships, partner with local businesses for cross promotion and offer discounts or special deals to your guests. Now guys, a very simple and easy thing that you can do is cross promote. Get in contact with the golf courses and set something up for cross promotion for their golfers these large groups of golfers, especially if you have a three or four bedroom unit, even the two bedroom unit, those larger units, large groups of golfers come down. It could be excellent income in your off season months. Number 11 is going to be to monitor competitive pricing. Guys, competitive analysis is huge. You can do some of that yourself right there on the Airbnb website and AirDNA. You want to regularly check the rates of similar properties in the area and adjust your pricing accordingly to stay competitive. Now, finally, you want to do some price matching as well. Consider price matching or offering better amenities to attract more bookings. So, you know, look at their units, look at what's inside their units, look how upgraded they are, look at what they're offering in their, you know, with their unit and get competitive with it and steal that business. Now, I can't preach this one enough, guys. Number 12 is going to be focusing on reviews and ratings. Encourage reviews. Basically, you want to ask your satisfied guests to leave positive reviews and respond to all those reviews professionally. Guys, it's super huge. When people get in contact with me from, our, from, from the YouTube channel or, or they're looking me up online, they're going to check out my YouTube channel, they're going to look at me, they're gonna, then they're going to hop on Zillow or Google Business and look at all the reviews from all of my clients. I recently, this just in the last little bit, had a guy look me up, found me on YouTube, read my reviews, and got in contact with me. That's what they're doing for your condo. So you want to make sure all the satisfied guests you have, you get as many reviews as possible because it is going to increase your conversion rate for people booking that condo. And then finally, you want to improve your ratings. You want to continuously improve your service based on guest feedback and maintain those high ratings. If somebody gives you feedback, don't ignore it, use it. That is a tool, that is a blessing to help you grow your business and increase how satisfied your guests are that are renting your condo. So don't disregard feedback, feedback is golden, use it. Guys, by implementing these profit maximizing hacks, you can increase the profitability of your Myrtle Beach oceanfront condo. Now guys, don't be a stranger and get in contact with me. People just like you call me all the time, email me, text me. They're interested in getting started in Myrtle Beach oceanfront condos. It's simple and it's easy. I'm basically gonna find out what your price range is, find out a little bit about you, what your investment goals are, your objectives. I'm gonna get either proof of funds from you or pre-approval or, or pre -approval, um, because I have to be selective on who I work with. And then I'm gonna send you listings. We're gonna hop into your top three picks, you'll send me over your top three MLS numbers. And from there, I'm building spreadsheets for you. I'm gathering documents for you. We're diving into the numbers and hopping on calls together. And we start looking and placing offers on oceanfront condos. After we get one under contract, contingent on you seeing it in person, you're gonna fly in or drive in. We're gonna see the property together. And then we're gonna ratify that deal. Then I'm gonna plug you into my network of inspectors. We're gonna do our due diligence on the property. We're going to make sure this property is the right investment for you. It's that simple and that easy. I help investors just like you invest in our market all the time. So don't be a stranger. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text message. 
or shoot me an email so that I can help you invest in Myrtle Beach oceanfront condos. All right, so you made it to the end of the video. Now click on the screen to check out the do's and don'ts of Myrtle Beach oceanfront condo investing. You don't want to miss it.